what's up? This Galaxy S2 here doesn't have a chili bean yet, as you see. So we are gonna upgrade it to a jelly bean. Um, so all you will need is a computer, a micro USB cable, a T-Mobile Galaxy S2 or Sprint Epic 4G Touch, a computer, and the Keys Air software. First, first step one, plug in the micro USB cable. Next, you'll see a display connecting screen pop up and your computer will start sounding louder. <laughs> oh, wait for, it to get, con uh, wait for it to connect because it will take a bit. Now your phone things will pop up and you'll see this. So yeah, you see this saying um, upgrade blah 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 from firmware that to this. And I was going to do it up close but it had the phone number on there. So all you have to do is press update on the left. You can't really see it. Update. And I have I agree. You guys can't really see it. Click it. And up. Grade. I wonder if I turn up the brightness. Can you guys see? No, oh, that's actually better. And uh, yeah, then you'll see this, and I'll wait for it to um, finish. After that, well, after this is done, just wait for like I don't know, like uh, 20, 10, 30 minutes. It depends on your computer, so yeah. Once it's done, you'll see the uh, spinning thing. Click on it, and you'll see it's frozen. And I'll just click for this and wait for it to respawn again. So I'll come back once it's done responding and something actually happens. Okay, now it's not frozen, and as you see, it is doing something else. The phone will start to um, do some stuff, and we'll wait for something to happen in a few moments. So we'll come back once that happens. Okay, now that dirt, dirt pong looking thing is gone, that's happened and the phone still hasn't done anything and I'm just gonna wait for a few moments for it to respond. Now as you see, it's this is the actual firmware upgrade, so if you're still using your phone, um, I recommend not using it because it will shut down immediately. And it will go into some process called, I don't really know. So I'll come back once this, the phone has it, something on its screen. Okay, my, the phone, not my phone, the phone has just vibrated. Nothing really happened. Nothing said goodbye or something. It just vibrated and this happened. Downloading, do not turn off the signal target. And as you see here, it won't really focus because Galaxy S2 cameras are crap. Um, now, um, this will begin to update and put the software on there. And uh, also, uh, this is like my sixth, fifth, fourth time. Because the other times, um, it was late in the day. I had 10 things on my computer. And right now, it's mm, 8 o'clock in the morning. And um, this is the first thing I just opened, so the computer will not shut down. Now, if this does shut down, all you have to do is tear off the back and take the battery out, and nothing will happen. So I'll come back once this is done downloading on, onto the phone. So, yeah, see you in like a second. Oh, I have just noticed that you see the progress bar here, right there? So that's the actual update. The other one, before that, making the, the phone go into. Uh, I forgot what this was called. I think it was like recovery mode or something. So, uh, yeah. Um, this time I'll actually come back to you once something happens to the phone or the computer. So, yeah. See you in a sec. Okay, now we are done. As you see, software update complete. The phone just vibrated. And we're gonna wait and wait. Okay, it's getting the software. Okay, there's the Android guy. So, let's wait. And again, it's vibrate, the normal vibrate, as you see, Samsung, Galaxy S2, and, okay, T-Mobile, and let's wait, 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 no, this is actually complete, this, finally, now, this took about 20 minutes, let me check, 
Uh, yeah. It depends on your internet speed, so, um, I'll, 10 to 30 minutes. You got that time, you can update your phone. Now again, this is available for the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile. No, not AT&T or Verizon. This, oh, does Verizon have a uh, Galaxy S2? Um, I think not. Uh, and U.S. Cellular and the original regional ca carriers will have it in like, possibly. I don't think so, though. And AT&T doesn't have an update for it yet. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till this um, boots up. So, yeah, I'll come back in a sec. Okay, now it says optimizing app. You can't, you can't really see it, but it's 23 of 94. So, as you see, you can sort of see it. Um, now, uh, I didn't really fo uh, I didn't really do one on my phone, but since I was in a hurry, sort of. Um, and, uh, yeah. Now, uh... Now we can disconnect the phone, I guess. I don't really think I should, well, never said anything about it, so we'll disconnect. And we'll, I'm actually gonna, actually, yeah, I'll wait for a few moments once this is done. I'll come back to you again in a few moments. 86, 87, 88, come on, 88. Okay, <laughs> so, um... As you see, it's still optimizing, about four apps to go, and, um, yeah. Okay, it's done. Starting apps. Come on, Android. Okay, um, so upgrading contacts, upgrading media database. Now, um, this is a strange thing with, um, the contacts. Um, the con- okay, finishing boot. Okay, as you see, now, um, the, uh, um, the contacts, um, they seem to disappear, so, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But, my, some of the contacts that aren't on my Google account keep, disappear. So, as you, okay, so as you see now, swipe across device to unlock device, so, okay. Okay, as you see, it is upgraded. You hear that ripple thing effect, so, um, as you see, just like the Galaxy at mine, yeah. So let's do that. And as you see, what's up? What is that? Let me check. No, oh, I can't really get to the notification. What is it? I don't know. Looks like a cigarette. <laughs> so, uh, English. And then let's connect to the internet. Okay, it's connected. Uh, next. I don't know why that's it. Okay, Samsung account. We'll skip that. And Google location, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. Next. And let me type in whoever's phone this is. So, I'll come back in a sec. Okay, I have entered in the name. So, we'll do that. This phone belongs to who? Okay. <laughs> now, um, there's the optional setting, easy mode, enable. Now, I've shown you this already. Now, I'll show it to you again in the settings, but, yeah, we'll click finish. And we'll click close, because this is system manager application. And as you see, now we can select the touch whiz, and we'll click always. You can't really see it. Always is on the left. And we'll know, we know that. Just saying if you really don't want to use this launcher anymore. Okay? Okay. And the screen goes black. And okay, there we go. Finally, Jelly Bean is on the Galaxy S2. So, swipe left, turn right. So, as you see, whoa, what? Okay, mine was a bit different. Have you seen mine yet? Did you guys see mine yet? <laughs> Mine was different. I mean, um, mine didn't have all this. It was, like, scattered around. I'm like, uh, let's... So, we know that. So, as you see, you get seven home screens. But mine was, like, um... Like, the, the, the clock was here, and then there's, like, some news thing. There's that. Well, but this. This wasn't here. The, it was, like, scattered around, as you see? Scattered around. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys, as you see. 
Now, as you see, it is that T-Mobile, and again, this isn't jelly or ice cream sandwich. So about device, as you see, 4.1.2, and again, I'll show you the home screen mode. So home screen, home screen, home screen. As you see, easy mode. So guys, this is Galaxy. This is the Galaxy S2. Uh. How to, um, the how to get jelly bean from ICS to jelly bean video. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. There'll be a little bit, uh, I think there's gonna be more coverage on the jelly bean update. There'll be something special for the Nexus 10 in the following week. Yeah, just give you a sneak peek. Yeah, uh, again, I'll see you guys later. Peace.